to a push to crack down on juvenile crime in Shelby County. It's making its way to Nashville and Speaker of the House Cameron Sexton says District Attorney Steve Moroy is to blame. Sexton <laughs> spoke with reporters today about the possibility of impeaching Moroy for dereliction of duty. WREG's Ashley Paul joins us now live outside juvenile court here in Memphis and explain Ashley why the Republican speaker wants to make this move or why he's even considering it. Staff, according to the TBI, the overall juvenile crime here in the state has actually decreased over the last decade. But here in Memphis, that's not exactly true, which is why House Speaker Cameron Sexton is calling on DA Steve Mulroy to either step up or get out. Three juveniles accused in the carjacking and murder of a Memphis pastor, a Maserati stolen with a dog inside, teenagers again the suspects, and just today, two teens in a stolen car accused of robbing a fast food restaurant. It's a wild, wild west in Memphis. There's no consequences. And people in surrounding counties say the juvenile crime in Memphis is so bad, it's also impacting them. This video from August shows the moments five thieves from Memphis break through the window of a business in Covington, stealing thousands of dollars worth of inventory. If you're going to be a bad element, stay in Shelby County because Steve McRoy or whatever his name is, he's not doing anything. He's letting them out scot-free. It's the same old story, according to House Speaker Cameron Sexton, who is calling on Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy to take action against the juvenile crime plaguing the city. To have a DA down there who says juvenile crime is not running amok tells you, is he not listening to the people? Does he not see it? According to the Memphis Shelby County Crime Commission, serious juvenile charges are down 8.3% this year compared to 2022. But overall, juvenile charges are up nearly 31%. Multiple attempts to speak with the DA went unanswered, but in a statement, he says juvenile crime has been an issue in Shelby County for years, and he and his team are addressing it. He says, quote, it'll take time and state and local agencies working together to turn this around, end quote. Sexton says if Mulroy becomes part of the problem and not the solution, impeachment could be on the table. You have to be derelict in your duty, um, which is a high bar, especially when you have discretion. So, you know, is it possible? Yes. But, you know, can you do it right now? I don't think he's gone to that level yet. Now, Mulroy said in his statement that impeachment would be inappropriate. Now, it is worth noting that since Mulroy took office last year, the number of repeat juvenile offenders has decreased by more than 25 percent. For now, reporting live, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.